and welcome. As we look toward the holidays, I'm always looking for really easy projects. And I shop a lot, I shop online, I shop in the stores, and I don't, I mean, I don't buy, but I just look. I look and look and look. And I'm seeing this neckline repeatedly, just in very different ways. And it's just beautiful. It's Anne's top, it's pattern 115, so many of you have it. And we're just gonna give you some options today. I'm gonna show you six photos. And in each of these photos, it's just a little different way to do the same exact neckline. So the neckline itself is just a rectangle. It's, you know, how wide, how deep. It doesn't change on any of these photos. It's all in the pattern. It's just perfect. Don't make any changes to the pattern. We're just going to make changes to how we sew it. So let's look at this very first picture. And the first one is just exactly as it is. It's just a fabric that's very thin, very drapey. It's double layers no changes, no changes to anything, just using a lighter fabric. Then with this next photo, what we notice is how chunky the sweater is, how chunky the knit is. If I were to use something along the lines of this fabric right here, where it's, it's a cotton, um, it's gonna, two layers especially, is gonna kinda chunk up on that rather than just drape. So no changes, just simply the fact that the fabric is thicker, less drapey, and so it causes um, just a chunkier look. This next one, I love it using stripes. And you can see that what we've done is the stripes have been changed one way for the collar and one way for the blouse. But again, no changes to the collar, just gives a different look and really accents and focuses on those stripes. The next one we see, and I excuse the picture on this, but I was shopping, I, I couldn't find it online. And so I went ahead and just used the photo that I had on my phone. But what it is, is it's the same exact thing that I did with this knit. Um, and and it's, one, it's a sheer, so this collar can be knit or woven. The neckline is big enough that you can get it over your head, so you don't have to make any changes to it. And the body of the garment still has to be woven. It still has to be a knit, I'm sorry, unless I go sleeveless. And if I go sleeveless, I could go up size on the body and yet not worry about the sleeve. But, but again, I could use a knit body and a woven collar. So when I use a sheer, you can see I can do lots of different things with it. And that's what this picture is. It's a sheer collar and it's just beautiful. And it's only one layer. So instead of the pattern calls you to double the collar over and then sew it on, the single layer allows it to just be more floppy. So just let it go where it goes and it works really well. This is a knit, this is a French terry. This is a new fabric we just put up. But just allow it to go floppy and allow it to be where it is. And then this next picture is an open collar. And so what's happening here is the seam is at center back typically. It's rotated to the side. Only the bottom portion of that seam is stitched so that you can sew it around. You sew two layers. So instead of sewing one of these, I'm gonna cut two on the fold, put them together, and then simply sew all the way around. So let me just say that again. I'm gonna cut two of these collars. You cut one on fold. I'm gonna cut two on fold. I'm going to sew them all the way around. I'm gonna sew the little, just a little portion of the center back seam. It's not gonna be the center back seam, but I'm gonna sew a little portion of that center back seam on both the collars. I'm gonna put them together and sew the edges. So the, it would be this outside edge, not the neck edge, the outside edge. Sew them all the way around, flip it at the neck edge, leave the neck edge raw, and then just sew the neck edge in around. The only thing I'm gonna do differently is I'm gonna turn the seam instead of, it's not a seam though, it's just that little section. I'm gonna turn it to the left side or the right side, it doesn't matter which one, and then let it naturally fall open. When we look at a picture like this, we, look, we think that collar is asymmetric, but it's simply not. It's just simply the way it's sewn. It's actually that, still, that same rectangle, it's just adjusted as to how it's put onto the body of the garment. And then this last one I want to show you is just using our template. This was from the webcast last Tuesday night, and it's the same Anne's top. We just use these new neckline templates, and we put a band on this collar, on this neckline, as opposed to using a collar. So no collar at all. It's just the band. The band has to be adjusted according to the stretch of the fabric, but as you get your template, you'll see those adjustments, so no worries about that. So this is just a great holiday collar. It's pretty, it's pretty under a cape. It's just so many, it's so versatile that I really wanted to share it with you and just give you some ideas as to how to use it and how to do it. That's it. The goal is happy sewing.